Jonathan Abrams. I'm the book writer of The Heart of Rock and Roll. Now, I loved what you said and what Huey said to you, that the book has to be good. Absolutely. So can you tell us, to turn this show around, what did you draw on to bring the story to life? So imagine, if you will, Russell Crowe in A Beautiful Mind, mm -hmm. Claire Danes in Homeland. My wall had note cards taped all over it with lyrics Ooh. from the Huey Lewis catalog. And as I was looking at this wall of lyrics, there were words that would jump out. Hip, heart, stuck, rock and roll, drugs, and most of all, love. Love is what this story is about. And as I just kept looking at all those words, I said, okay, these are the, these are the, the mile markers. These are the things we're going to hit. These are the things we're going to drill down on. And that's what navigated the whole story. So you storyboarded with lyrics. Yes. I love it. Um, this is your first foray into musical theater, correct? Correct. What made you want to come here? Tyler Mitchell, the producer, called me many years ago and he had just met Huey Lewis and they had discussed potentially doing a show based on his song catalog and Tyler's a film producer I'm a film writer and he said I'm calling you because you're the only person I know that knows less about musical theater than I do <laughs> but you're the only person I know that loves Huey Lewis as much as I do what do you say and I said to him if this means that I have a chance to meet Huey Lewis I'll do You're whatever in. it takes. <laughs> and I came up with a story, and then we went to that fateful lunch at the Fairmont in Santa Monica, and I walked in. And I know it well because I'm from California. Yeah. And he said, That's pretty good. Keep going. And that's all the encouragement I needed. And from there, I wrote a first draft, and now here we are, probably 187 drafts later. Now, you've written film. I, yes. You've got a film coming out, Juror yes. Two. Juror number two, yeah. And what other films have you done? What should I know that I well, don't? Juror number two is my film debut in terms of a movie getting produced. I've sold many movies that didn't get made. Television pilots, the same thing. So this is sort of a big year in the sense that I have two things that are actually being made that people can go and see. What do you want to get out as a writer? What would you like? What are you trying to get said? I want this show to remind people there's no political agendas in this show. Thank God. It's just a show about people trying to find their way in a changing world that often feels uncertain. And I think that there's a real power in being in a darkened theater with a bunch of people that you don't know, but over the course of two plus hours, you're laughing at the same moments, maybe you're crying at the same moments. And when that show lets out and you look around and it's light and you can see those people, some of them may not be people that you would ever think, I would know that person or associate with that person. But the reminder then is, but I just went on a journey with them and we felt the same way. So maybe we're all a little more connection than we think. So you're, connection. Yeah. yeah. In your other writing, like is there something that you really would like to get out that you would like the world to know? It's always about theme for me. And juror number two, it's, again, it's about choices. In a very different circumstance, that's a thriller with a murder, but it always comes down to exploring an idea that you can see from both sides. And that's where I always start with a project. And when both sides can be heard, the writing comes easily. Absolutely. Thank you so Thank much you for so being much. with us. Thank you. One, two, three.
Mendoza. I play Otto Fjord in the show. Uh, Otto is a multimillionaire furniture mogul who Bobby is trying to land a big deal with to impress his boss, Mr. Stone, and also the boss's daughter, Cassandra. And where have we seen you before? Oh, I have been on Broadway in Pacific Overtures and Peter and the Starcatcher, and I have done several Sondheim shows off-Broadway. And have we seen you in TV or film? Yeah, so uh, most recently I did an episode of Billions and uh, Dead Ringers. What is your favorite Huey Lewis song and why? Power of Love. Really? It's, I mean, it, it just... It says it all, right? Uh, I don't know. I'm into the heart of rock and roll. <laughs> heart of rock and roll is fantastic, too. Yeah. I'm really happy to hear that because it was sung so well. Yes. What would you like audiences to take away from this show? Well, you know, Huey really sings about four things. Love, working, um, uh, family, and having a good time. So if you come to see the show, you're going to get all four of those things. Love, family, working, and having a good time. Thank you so much for being with us. Thank you. I'm Zoe Jensen, and I'm playing Paige. And where have you, we seen you before? Uh, I just finished my reign at Six on Broadway. I played Katherine Howard, and before that, I was Eliza in the National Tour of Hamilton. What I want audiences to take away from this is I want them to see how shows that are joyful and are there to just have a good time. I, I want them to see how shows like that are important. Just like we flip through the channels, some days we might want to watch a drama or a documentary. There are some days that we need a sitcom or something funny and light. Thank you so much for being with us. Thank you. My name is Josh Breckenridge and I'm playing Wyatt. And where have we seen you before? Oh my goodness, uh, this is my fourth Broadway show. Um, Bravo. Uh, thank you. Um, I just, let's see, most recently on Broadway was Come From Away. Um, I've done the Scottsboro Boys. Love that show. The revival of the Ritz. Um, I've also done the national tour, first national tour of the Book of Mormon. And uh, most but this is like a Book of Mormon. This is like a Book of Mormon revival. There's a lot of people, right? Did you talk yeah. to Billy? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he and I did it together, actually. Oh, okay. And we're classmates, Ooh. which is awesome. So we both went to the University of Cincinnati. So who is your character? What do you play? Yeah, um, so Wyatt is basically, I keep saying he's like the quintessential 1980s yuppie nerd, right? <laughs> he works uh, with Billy's character, Tucker, at a firm. Um, he's always been kind of in the passenger seat with um, his best friend Tucker, and throughout the show, you kind of see that he finally learns to speak up for himself and, and um, develops his own voice. He's also the husband to Paige. Oh, okay. Um, so Zoe's character, and uh, they have a six-month baby, old baby girl. They're he's trying to provide for the family and prove himself in an ever-changing financial climate. So that's his little arc. Yeah. <laughs> what would you like audiences to take away from your performance? Oh my God. I would probably say don't lose what you've got in while searching for what you want. Um, he is trying to provide for his family and uh, realizes in the second act how, how distant he's become and a lot of their marital problems have been because of his tunnel vision and so he's awakened to that in the second act and and they have a wonderful love fest for the rest of the show. So I would say I would say that would be my little token. I think there is something universally healing about this show. You know, in a in a world post COVID, yeah. we got this election year, we got a lot of stuff happening. It is pure escapism. I know you've heard this word too, joy today. Oh, yeah, is, but I'm you know what? I could not hear that word enough. Yeah, we need it, right? Yeah. I think people are gonna leave this show dancing. We need into to the remember that that word exists. That's true. That's very so, easy to forget that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What is Agreed. your, of all the Huey Lewis catalog, oh my God. what song describes who you are the most? Oh. <laughs> Probably hip to be square. <laughs> You're not the only one. I know, As I know, a matter of fact, Tucker, Tucker's too. Tucker, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Probably that. Probably that, yeah. But all, all the songs are so universal. It's probably a little bit of that in all of us, right? I am so excited to be talking to this cast oh, and meeting you all. And I thank you so much. Thank you.